The first outbreak was in 1976 when a mystery illness was striking people down. A nun in Congo was really ill. Samples were taken and were flown to Belgium to a lab. And there, a young assistant, Peter Pio, peered through his microscope. When we saw these uh, worm-like structures coming out of the electron microscope, we were all a bit breathless, frankly, and said, what the hell is this? The priority back then was to track down where the virus had reached and how it was being transmitted from one person to another. I didn't know what to think. You know, Central Africa is overwhelming. I was just very impatient to get there and to start working. It must have been incredibly unnerving, venturing into a remote corner of Central Africa with no idea how the virus was spreading. That early research found that Ebola is passed through blood, vomit and diarrhoea. And because it identified the virus, people now know what to look for in blood samples. And beyond that, it established the foundations for how you contain an outbreak.